Yellow Gamer Gnome is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob awaken the Rumble Fruit and reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. When the actor slam on oh, their dancing forward, there's your slam! There's the dump! Okay guys, to start it off, for our first skill, we have the Rumble Dragon. Good thing is that it can damage multiple targets at once and the cooldown is really fast. Also, when you reach level 5, Logia Elemental is in effect. These bandits cannot damage you anymore, so the grinding here will be really fast. Okay, target level is level 10. Next up, the Fountain City. Yeah. I know this is the final city, but listen guys, just lure one Gali Parrot, use your left clicks and Z skill and that's it. Take turns while waiting for it to cool down, use your left clicks, there you go. Once your Z skill cooldowns, use it again, repeat, be patient, and that's it. There is a high chance that they will patch this on the next update. By the way, we've unlocked our lightning dash. That's it, the F skill, kinda lame. But let's keep on grinding until we reach level 60. Once we reach that level, let's check our stats first. Melee 25, defense 20, block fruits 135. Next stop, the desert. In the first C, I suggest always use elemental fruits. Why? Because for example, desert bandits, level 60, right? Elemental is in effect. Very easy to grind. They cannot damage you. Just spam your Z skill and that's it. Go level here is 75. You will unlock a new quest, and that quest is the Desert Officers. Again, 75 guys, Logia is in effect, Elemental, so grinding will be easy. No need for wall strats, etc. Just keep on pushing your Z skill, luring until you reach level 9. Stat check first, nearly 40, defense 35, block foots 198. Next area is the Frozen Village. If you have enough money, go to the Ability Teacher, buy the Sky Jump, Enhancement, and the Flash Step. Next up, Snow Bandits. Level 90, check this out. Elemental is already in effect. Just spam your Z skill, keep on defeating them until you reach level 105. You will unlock your third skill, the X skill, Sky Thunder. Here is the skill. Now we are ready to start defeating the Yeti at 105. We're gonna start defeating him until we reach level 120. Usually, we grind here, server hop until we reach 130, right? But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna live here at 120. Next up, the Marine Fortress. We're gonna start defeating the Chief Petty Officers because again, Loga is in effect at this level. So we're just gonna keep on defeating them until we reach level 130. Don't forget to buy the Black Cape because this increases your damage and increase some of your health and energy, okay? So again, 130. Next enemy is the Vice Admiral. From here on, we're gonna server hop, guys. Again, you cannot attack him inside his fortress using your exit skill. So the technique is Lure him here, guys. He cannot attack here with his range attacks. So it's a free hit, okay? Remember this area, just keep on doing this, and you will defeat him. We're gonna start doing server hop. Reminder, when you're fighting a boss, even if it is low level, it can still hit you. I hope that's clear. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 220. Let's check our stats first. Melee 100, defense 100, blast fruits 460. Next area is the prison. So here we have three mobs to defeat, the Warden, the Chief Warden, and the Swan. So first the Warden, what is the technique? Guys, just do wall strat, lure him here, and use your skills. That's it. Additional tip, to hit him with your Sky Thunder, lure him here. Guys, in this area, check this out. You can damage him with your Sky Thunder, and that's it. Grinding will be faster with the Chief Warden, same strategy. There you go, wall strat. Gamer, how about the Swan? Guys, same strategy. Wall strat, but you need to create this stats. You're gonna defeat all these bosses until you reach level 350. Check first, melee 130, defense 160, blast foot 760. Next island is the Magma Village. We're gonna make it fast here. You're gonna defeat the Magma Admiral. So guys, again, you cannot hit him with your Sky Thunder here. So lure him outside. There are some techniques here. You can do some wall strat or just go on top of this area. So it really depends to you. You're gonna keep on defeating him until you reach level 425. We're gonna unlock the Sky Beam here. There you go. Higher damage, so you won't be needing your Sky Thunder. Let's check our stats. Melee 145, defense 175, block fruits 955. Next area is the Underwater City. Guys, this is a lot easier because the Fishman Lord can be lured on one of these windows. He will get trapped and he cannot hit you back. 
So grinding here will be easy guys, one of the easiest boss to defeat because of this strategy. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 500. Stat check, melee 150, 200 defense, Black Swords 1150, next up the Skylands. Fade to the upper yard and start defeating Whisper. Technique here, stay in Surat, okay? Cannot hit you with this cannon, but guys, if you use your C skill, there is a chance that he will go up. There you go, just dodge his cannon and go back in the rock, okay? So that's it, keep on defeating him until you reach level 575. Guys, you're not allowed to leave this boss unless you get the pole. But we are lucky enough to get it on our first try, so good thing. So if possible, you're gonna leave this area when you reach level 637. Why Gamer Nom? Because in the Fountain City, our only enemy, yes, the Gali Pirates, Elemental is in effect. So we're gonna just grind here, very easy guys, until you reach level 741. And once you reach that level, congratulations, you're heading to the second C. By the way, I decided to unlock our first skill before we start grinding here. So again, shout out to my brother for helping me unlock the first skill, the Z skill. Let's fast forward this. There you go. <laughs> he carried me in the raid. So we unlock our first skill, Z skill, for 500 shards. First target in the second seed, the mercenaries. Guys, don't worry. We will unlock the other skills on our next mobs. So for our first skill, the lightning beast. That's it. Again, at this level, 741, Elemental is in effect. So there will be no problems grinding with our damage. No problem, we will unlock our final skill in this area, the Thunder Bomb. I always remember the Genki Dama here of Goku, Dragon Ball Z. So we're gonna leave this area at 793, stat check, melee 300, defense 350, sword 415, blocks roots 1315. And before we move on to our next target, let's unlock our F skill. Yes, the Lightning Dash. Once again, I got carried. Awakened Lightning Dash will now have 3 charges and can damage the enemy. Okay, next target, this one Pirates. Elemental is in effect at this level, so guys, no worries. Just use all your skills to defeat them. Technic here, also use your pole to damage them and that's it. Target level here is level 900. Okay guys, we're gonna skip all bosses here. We're gonna focus on mobs to increase our mastery. For the stats, melee 350, same with defense, sword 551, block fruits 1450. Next up, the green zone. But before that, awakening our next skill. There you go, my main account. Going to carry this account and unlock the X skill. There you go, X skill. And for our next target, the Marine Lieutenants. Technique here, use your Observation Hockey, lure them without hitting them. Okay, once you do that, create distance and they will stop chasing you. And you can hit them all with your skills. Make sure to burst them. And that's it. You're gonna grind here just 25 levels. And when you reach level 925, you can start defeating the boss in this island, Fajita or Fujitora. Guys, time to show you the X skill, the Thunderstorm. There you go. So we're gonna grind here until you reach level 675. After that, unlocking another skill. And I think that skill is the C skill, right? This will cost us 4,000 fragments. And we're gonna try this skill, the Graveyard Island with the zombies. And with the help of the pole, we have 6 skills to damage the enemy. So any enemy in the second C, we can burst them using this 6 skills. So there you go guys, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1028. Let's check our stats first. Melee 485, Defense 550, Sword 600, Blast Roots 1450. Now time to awaken our V skill. So it will cost us 5000 and this is how it looks like. There you go, it really looks cool guys. Uh, check that out. Okay, so for our next island, the Snow Mountains. Our only target here is the Snow Troopers because Elemental is in effect at 1,028. So we're gonna grind here fast until you reach level 1,150. Checking our stats first. Melee, 500. Defense, 741. Sword, 660. Block Foots, 1,550. Next island is a Hot and Cold. But before that, let us unlock Pole V2. So again, he will ask us for another 5,000 shards. There you go. All V2. Now for our target, the Smoke Admiral. We're gonna do server hop here. The final boss actually that we're gonna defeat in the second C. There you go. So he's so easy to defeat. You can do wall strat. 
check that out guys one smoke admiral 90 mastery on the pole we're gonna leave this area when we reach level 1288 when we reach that level next area the cursed ship and the first target is a ship deckhands so we're here because we've already activated the elemental effect so this mobs cannot damage us this one combo including the pole second form and that's it we are leaving this area when we reach level 1342 and moving on next target the ship stewards again why are we here because of the elemental effect they cannot damage us we're gonna grind here fast until reach level 1394 checking our stats before we leave this area so melee 500 defense 900 sword 1082 block fruits 1700 next island is the ice castle our only target here is the arctic warriors so they cannot damage us so let's defeat them really fast and yes we can defeat them with just one combo of ours so we're gonna grind here until reach level 1473 after that moving on to the final island the forgotten island we're gonna defeat our final mob here the sea soldiers again we skip the ice admiral and the tide keeper there you go so we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1562 yes we're gonna exceed level 1500 because i know guys you know the reason let's check our stats 500 melee defense 900 1847 sword block foot 1800 finally congratulations in advance we're heading to the third c so guys let's make this fast first up the pirate millionaires how do you defeat them guys easy the reason why we are here at 1562 because elemental effect <laughs> i keep on saying that let's change it to log effect to make it sound cooler so we're gonna grind here guys can you guess until you reach level 1675 because trust me this will be faster compared to defeating stone or the pistol billionaires okay stat check melee 500 defense 900 sword 1645 block fruits 1935 next island the hydra island so here you can start defeating this one the dummy yes <laughs> the training dummy it's easy to defeat because we have lots of skills to damage okay there you go it's a level up or focus on the island empress you can do wall strat here but guys take note the distance if you're gonna attack her here she can damage you note that we have low hp to so make sure to create distance from here she cannot attack you so just stay here attack her or if you want you can last hit her using your pole okay there you go okay guys so keep on grinding here until you reach level 1750 so here are the stats <clears throat> notice that i am focusing on sword and black fruits next up the great tree technique here gamer nom just lure the kilo admiral here there you go go on top of this rock and that's it he cannot damage you oh she cannot damage you sorry she cannot damage you here use your skills and that's it okay so moving on our target level here is 1868 so here are the stats notice that we already reached max black fruit so we can add on the defense next area is the floating turtle again focusing on the logi effect first is the fishman captains defeat them fast there you go we're gonna leave this place when we've achieved elemental effect on the next mob and that mob is the jungle pirates so again at level 1974 we can start defeating them here i almost forgot guys when i say we're defeating bosses we're gonna server up there okay means i skipped the mobs that i didn't show okay because that's the most efficient way to grind so at 2001 we're gonna leave this area and go to the musketeer pirates another 54 level ups here and we're almost done next area is the haunted castle so we're gonna defeat their born skeletons only don't worry about the experience they're almost the same with almost all the mobs here also the other mobs has hockey and some of them even ate fruits which will be really hard for us to grind fast so again the goal here is to grind fast and not defeat all mobs we're gonna leave this area when we reach level 2161 and for our final stat check i'm gonna show it to you max black fruits max sword 
So it depends to you where you want to put your defense and melee. This is my melee and defense. For the final island, Sea of Treats, I decided to defeat the Peanut Scouts only. Why? Because they're near the quest giver and they don't have haki so you can capitalize on your elemental or logia flute. Okay? You can go to the next island but guys, they're, they're easy to like knock back. So it's hard to lure them. So focus here until you reach max level. Okay guys, so that's it. Final stats. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, Ramble Fruit Fully Awakened. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.